Good day everyone and welcome back to the NetGave. In this video, we are going to look at this touch sensor using the Raspberry Pi Pico. We use capacitive touch sensing daily with different electronic devices. Here are a few examples of capacitive switches, this microphone on and off, a modern phone finger scanner, and this LED lamp. And there are so many more other appliances. In this tutorial, we will look at this capacitive touch sensor module. These capacitive touch sensor modules based on a TTP 223 IC are the most accessible and inexpensive ways to get touching sensing in your projects. We will connect this to the Raspberry Pi Pico and do a simple example of turning an LED on and off using the sensor. Let's quickly have a look at how does this module work. The module has three pins. The VCC pin can operate between 2 to 5.5 volt, a ground pin and a signal pin. The output or signal pin will remain low with no touch, but when we touch the sensor, the IC will pick up a change in capacitance and output a high signal depending on your input. In our case, it will be 3.3 volt for the Pico. To follow along with this tutorial, you will need the following. A breadboard, the Raspberry Pi Pico with header pins, the TTP224 capacitive touch module and female to male jumper wires to connect the module to the Pico. Here is a schematic diagram. You can connect the signal pin to any GPIO pin, but I am using GPIO18 in this example. Now that we have a working circuit, we can write some code. You can find the code on my GitHub repository, provided in the description below. In this block of code, we import pin from the machine and import a time library for delays. We create a variable touchpad and set it equal to pin 18 as a pin in with a pull down resistor keeping the pin low. We then create a variable for the onboard LED connect it to pin 25 and set it as an output. Now we create an endless loop and test if the value change on a sensor which will be a low to high. We'll print out touched when we touch the sensor and toggle the LED state and wait half a second before checking for touch again. So here we can see if I touch the sensor the LED will turn on and if I touch it again it will turn off. If I should keep my finger on the sensor the LED will toggle every half a second. I hope you found this helpful and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below. And if you are not a subscriber yet press that subscribe button for more content here in the NetGave.